Well, since it's raining outside today, I'm going to prep uh, some some cyanotype prints for us. Um, I went to Home Depot, and let me show you real quick. I got this project foam board. Uh, they're really used for like table saws and circular saws on job sites. It's just dense dense foam. It's like insulation foam, but harder. Um, so I'm gonna do my all my dirty work on top of this. So for the cyanotypes, you need two chemicals. Uh, ferric ammonium citrate and the potassium ferrous cyanide. Now, I have them in brown bottles because the one of these is photosens or light sensitive and it's best to keep them in brown bottles to begin with. And these are big enough so like I could shake the I could shake the chemicals and everything gets mixed. Um, but right now, right now I have the lights on. Um, let me move these out of the way. So I'm gonna turn the lights off while I. You could probably still see it, but let me just walk you through this real quick. So I'm gonna mix part A, part B together. And I'm going to put it into this measuring cup. That's my blue one. And my blue measuring cup tells me it's light sensitive. And I'll need to be, I need a paintbrush. So I'll be dipping this paintbrush into here. And be pretty much paint the emulsion onto paper. So right now I'm going to make room for the paper. So let me get all this off my table real quick. There we are. And I'm using sketch paper. So, since I have this, I really can't see it on film. It's so big. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to open this sheet up, paint the emulsion on, and I kind of made a light box or a light safe using this kind of foam. After I'm done painting it, I'll put another piece on top. You can kind of tell, like, made it like a nice little box. Sort of. Well, it's not light proof, but it gets enough light out so I can continue making cyanotypes and the next day it'll be ready for me to use. So, well, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to take a sheet. So, this is the sheet I'm working with. It's my sketch paper. It is 18 by 24. It's pretty big, a uh, pretty big size print. And I'll also need, this is the box that my transparencies came in. I use a, uh, ink press transparency film. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of eyeball it in the middle and just mark the corners. So, you see I got a little pencil. Make a mark on this side and all four sides. That way I kind of know my dimensions. Has been marked. I know my kind of know where my boundaries are. It's a little bigger than the transparency, which is pretty good. So right now I'm going to take the sheet off the table and I'm going to put my chemicals back on. It's my part A and part B spoon, brush, and the measuring cup. So. Sorry, I'm quiet. Their allergy season sucks. So I'm gonna put part A in this one and part B in this one. Mix it together. So right now I'm gonna turn on the light off. And oh, you still get pretty good light. Oh, I actually have a lamp under underneath the table here. So whoops. So underneath this table, I have a lamp. 
so you guys can see. So it's blocking enough light where it's not going to really affect the cyanotype emulsion. Um, even though it is uh, light sensitive, you need a lot of light to, to expose the chemicals. So, taking the first part, as you can see. Part A, and this one's Part B. I've actually never made a print, so don't know how much to use. I just know they're supposed to be equal parts, so I think I got equal parts in here. Yeah, pretty dead on. So take this, pour it in here. Part A, part B, that goes in there, and I'm going to give it a little, quick little, quick little stuff. I don't think this is going to be enough to cover that whole paper, but I can always make more. Alrighty, so there's my emulsion. Get this out of the way real quick. Bring my paper back on the board. And what I'm going to do is just paint it. So, put my motion right here. Here's my brush. Give it a little, little dab. And let's go at it. Start in the middle, working my way out. I think I might need to make a little bit more motion. And I think I'm gonna get new paper. This one's this one's getting a little wet and wrinkly. But this is my first cyanotype. So this is pretty much a rough draft. Let's paint this over. I should be wearing gloves. I don't know why I'm not. Put a little more motion. Keep painting this on. Almost done. Make sure I get the middle before I go out on the edges. Now I'm starting to fill in the edges with the emulsion, and I'm just going up and down, making sure I got past the borders. A little more on the brush. And now I'm just going to even it out because there's... Don't want little puddles of emulsion. Just want a nice even coat. As you can see, this sketch paper is very thin and it's starting to buckle. So. Which is not too bad. I will be putting it underneath a piece of glass so the glass will kind of press it down. When when it well when it's exposing to the sun, but almost done here. And then I'm gonna take the corner of the brush and just kind of feather out the outside to make it look cool. There we are. And I also have this stamp that I bought from Freestyle. It's a, I don't know if you could really see it, but. I'm going to cover that with a motion see if that works. It's just a stamp of a camera. Yeah, I'll just stamp it somewhere. Alrighty. So, this is pretty much done. Um, what I'm going to do now 
is put it inside the put it inside the paper safe. So you can see the paper's still on the uh, one side of the frame, and this side you can kind of see. I made like a little box, and it's just gonna go right over top, and that's it. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and in the morning uh, I hope there will be sun so then I can expose my first print which is Aubrey Hepburn. So I'm just going to leave this here overnight, um, go ahead and get a shower, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, wake up early and hopefully make my first exposure in cyanotypes. So guys that's how you uh, paint the emulsion onto paper and all you got to do is paint it, let it dry, take it outside. So guys, uh, please subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll be giving a camera away at the end of this month. So yeah, subscribe, comment, send me an email, check out the blog, do everything. So, all right, well, hopefully there'll be sun and you'll see me making another video tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you.